Radiculopathy occurs when a specific nerve root is compressed. Uh, this can occur in the neck, in the mid-back, or the lower back. This can uh, result from compression by a herniated disc, or from uh, overgrown uh, ligament, or from bone spurs. Specific symptoms of radiculopathy uh, depend on what specific nerve root is being compressed. If a nerve root is being compressed uh, in the uh, neck, this can lead to arm pain, uh, arm weakness, and electric-like signals that are going down uh, the arm. Uh, if there is radiculopathy in the lower back, uh, this can lead to symptoms such as leg pain, sciatica, uh, back pain, uh, and in certain cases, numbness and tingling in the leg as well. Specific treatment for radiculopathy depends on what nerve root is being compressed. If a nerve root is being compressed uh, by a disc in the neck, sometimes we can do an anterior cervical discectomy and fusion. Uh, additionally, we could also perform a uh, foraminotomy. If there is radiculopathy in the uh, lower back or lumbar spine, uh, this could also be the uh, result of compression of the nerve root by a disc or by bone spurs. This is treated by a, a microdiscectomy or by a foraminotomy or sometimes by placement of a, a interspinous uh, spacer. If you have been uh, diagnosed with radiculopathy or believe you have radiculopathy, please contact our office to schedule a consultation.